A few months ago, we talked about uh, the beating of a homeless man by the name of Kelly Thomas. Uh, he was literally beaten to death by Fullerton police, uh, and they had been called to the scene because someone was vandalizing vehicles, and police wanted to basically uh, search him to see whether or not he was the person who was accused of doing this. Now, in the process uh, of trying to pat him down, the schizophrenic homeless man um, I guess was not complying with them and it basically led to them tasing him, beating him with their tasers and uh, eventually he was in a coma, he was rushed to the hospital and he died. So the two police officers uh, that are accused of beating him to death, uh, one is by the name of Manuel Ramos and the other one is Corporal Jay Cincinnati, uh, are being prosecuted, right? And since they're being prosecuted, tape of the incident has just been released. That's why the story is being talked about today. Now, you guys already know how hideous this uh, situation was based on eyewitness testimony. However, we have the video for you guys now. Uh, we cut it down significantly. However, it is graphic. So take a look at the video, and then we'll discuss it a little with Brett. I'm going to force my hand. I really want to make it Go ahead. Sit down, put your foot to back. Okay, that's fine. Let's go on there. Would you just fucking put your hands? Would you just fucking. All right. Put your hands. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Now, uh, as I mentioned, he was rushed to the hospital. He had to. He died five days later after his family had to take him off life support. Uh, according to the hospital reports, he had uh, bones broken in his face. Uh, he choked on his own blood, uh, and the compression of the thorax made it impossible for him to breathe, depriving him or his brain of oxygen. I don't even know how to respond to that. Hearing all that stimulus and watching mm -hmm. the video, it definitely evinces some kind of like very visceral response, right? Mm -hmm. um, I will say it, it is almost as though those guys who were beating him and, and, and tasing him were just kind of wondering how long they could do it. And they all wanted a chance to try it. I feel also that bargaining orders, like you have to please turn on your stomach when you're being charged with like mega joules of energy mm -hmm. that, uh, I mean, I've seen it in The Hangover. I hate to say that that's my other like experience with it, but I will say that that's like, a, a, it's gonna paralyze you, not gonna give you a lot of voluntary motion where you can then, you know, voluntarily turn over on your back right. or your stomach. Absolutely, I definitely got the sense that they were drunk on their own power. They were obviously getting a kick out of using excessive force in this situation. Kelly Thomas was on the ground. He was not resisting arrest at all. And by the way, we didn't show you the entire video. The entire video was like 30 minutes long. He's not doing anything. He's just laying there begging them to stop. Please stop, I can't breathe. And they continue to do it. So what do we do now? Mm -hmm. Now that that's out there, now that we've seen the video, what, what, is, what is the next action? We, do I stay outraged? 
Do I, I, I mean, yes. what is what yes. is the reason for that? You do stay outraged. So there are people who are questioning whether or not videos like this should be released in the first place, right? Is it because we are voyeuristic, we want to just watch what happened to him? Or think, is, it, is there something to be learned from this? And I think that it's really important to look at that tape and learn something from it, because if you look at the history of the Fullerton uh, Police Department, you'll find out, and I'm quoting an article from OC Weekly, that they had every right to expect that they would get away with this because until now, not a single cop in Orange County history has ever been prosecuted for killing someone in the line of duty. So that's a real issue here, right? These cops were using excessive force and you can tell in that video that they did not even imagine that they would be prosecuted for using that excessive force. So that's why videos like that are important, to bring it to light so these police departments that are basically looking the other way when excessive force is used get criticized, get or have people hold them accountable. That's why it's important to talk about these stories. I always feel mm -hmm. terrible when I, because I, I deal with a lot of, well, I, the old thing I used to do, viral video film school, we always used to like, look at videos where people incurred pain. Mm -hmm. And we have to ask ourselves before watching it, before doing anything, does someone die in this? And it just always makes you feel terrible. You just have to ask yourself as a, a viewer of that video, like what are you gonna do with it? Cause you know going in someone dies. Mm -hmm. You know it's gonna be painful to watch. You know how long it is, cause as soon as you start watching it, it tells you how long it is. Mm -hmm. So the onus is really on, of course, the police department to hold someone accountable, but also for each individual, because that's just the weirdest, diciest thing about like the, proliferation right. of news like I can't I don't understand how y'all do like two hours a day of stuff I just to be able to fill the giant maw of news mm -hmm. it takes video like this and I'm glad that that there's some kind of extra perspective to go listen the reason we have to put everyone through this is to realize just the the implication of of never having tried anyone now that's not to say that you have to assume that every police department has someone who should get prosecuted no and that's I'm not saying that in any way shape or form however when you have an entire police department that has never been, not a single police officer has ever been prosecuted for... For these five things that you have yeah. listed in this yeah. article. Yeah, so there are, there are five different uh, dicey situations where uh, people were killed by police in the line of duty, right? And in every single situation, the police uh, officials might have been questioned, but they were never prosecuted. So right. that's a real issue here. And I think that's why videos like this, when they surface, they should be talked about. The people who are accused of using excessive force should be held accountable. And in this case, I'm glad that there could possibly be uh, justice for Kelly Thomas and his family. Now, um, Manuel Ramos was charged with one count of second degree murder and one count of involuntary manslaughter. And uh, Jay Cincinnelli is charged with one count of involuntary manslaughter and excessive force. So uh, we'll see what happens with the outcome of that case. But that video is very important evidence in the case. Yes, so. it has to be. I mean. As a prosecutor, I'm sure you're, you just look at it and go, all right, I don't really have that much to do, which mm -hmm. then, if they do get off, you start asking yourself, how could that even be possible? You watched it, so that's, there'll be hell to pay. I have a hard time believing that they'll be let off. However, sometimes I'm extremely naive, 